It was always it was always a dream for me to be able to ride ride the general classification. I knew I could climb well, I could time trial well. Um, so for me, it was uh, when I grow up, I want to be able to ride the GC. Um, but I didn't quite think that was going to come so early when um, when I went to the Vuelta in 2011 to support Bradley Wiggins, and I just felt like when I had the job to to be the last man for him in the mountains. And I, I realized that, hold on, I'm, I'm doing all the pulling here and the group is actually, there's only five guys left and I, I still feel quite okay. Basically all the, all the points of this tour where the GC was decided, um, there was only one stage where I really made my mark and that was Pierre Le Saint Martin. Um, and the rest of the stages were about being as consistent as possible and trying to just chip away and being as close to the front as possible. So um, I've got obviously uh, the team to thank for, for most of that. I thought always as, as a youngster watching, watching cycling, uh, I always thought this is, it's, it's real sportsmanship that you don't, you don't attack the yellow jersey when he's had a mechanical or had a crash. I try and be as polite as possible and come across as, as approachable as possible to people, but um, make, make no mistake about it. Don't, don't take that for a weakness. Don't take that as you can push me around and you can, you can get away with uh, disrespecting me or my teammates. I'm, I'm going to stand up for what I believe in. Uh, I'm obviously going to stand up for my teammates also. I want to thank thank all of you who've uh, just written about written about the tour and given it the the coverage it deserves. Thank you very much.